Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Evil Genius 2 World Domination. Today, we are going to be jumping in to a new game and seeing what kind of chaos we can cause. The game released today, if you're watching the video on the day that it's going out, that being March 30th, 2021. I do have a preview of the game up on the channel as well, if you're interested in seeing what the game is generally about those are going to be linked in the video description and are both sponsored videos as well this one here is not sponsored but the key for the game was provided for free so with that all out of the way let's go ahead and start a new game and see what kind of chaos we can get into we're going to pick what genius we're going to be using and i'm going to be honest i'm actually very tempted to just go with maximilian here because he can make his minions work harder he can train them faster but what he can also do is earn more gold or sorry earn gold more reliably and start with additional minions that seems like a pretty good idea red ivan can get minions to prioritize jobs in his vicinity and additionally any nearby minions will get a combat boost he also has a rocket launcher and he is capable of marshalling a large number of muscle minions without paying so much. Even his workers pack a better punch. So kind of tempting. Zalika is more about science and then Emma here is more about deception. I'm going to be honest. I think we're just going to go with Max. I think we're just going to go ahead and earn gold more reliably and start with some additional minions in terms of the island that we're going for we have this one here which is in the north atlantic ocean has five levels to it including a basement level right there which is very very tempting uh this right here would be the level that we're starting on we have our casino on the left there we've got that 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 as well and you know that's generally the island we have this island right here, which is an interesting one because it has got uh, sort of two little sections to it there, which I would be very curious to see. Ah, so that's how that works. This is where we would start. We have our helipad. We have all this space down here. This actually seems like it would be quite a difficult island to work with, given the fact that it doesn't actually look like it has that much buildable area. So initial diggable area, 23,967 square meters versus 31 and 72. So yeah, I think it's fair to say that this island right here might be the one that we really want to go for. This is the island that we did in our preview with uh, Zalika as well. I've never actually played on this one, but it definitely has the smallest amount of uh, initial build area but the highest amount of build area overall which is kind of interesting so i'd be kind of tempted to try this out i feel like it would probably be a bit of a challenge but i'm actually kind of excited about the idea of a bit of a challenge so let's go ahead and jump into that we're going to play on medium difficulty with tutorials disabled and we're just going to begin because i've done a lot of rambling a lot of talking and we're three and a half minutes into a video and we haven't even started playing the bloody thing yet so Let's see what exactly we're looking at here in terms of an intro. It looks like it's on fire. Why does the island look like it's on fire? That seems like exactly what we don't want it to be. I feel like I should be slightly concerned. I'm not going to lie. Regardless, we got good old Max here. With his monocle and scar and stature, I guess. <laughs> He's an interesting one, as good old Max. So, boss, what do you think of your new lair? <laughs> it's good, right? There's something wrong about it. It's ugly. It's too yellow. Oh, I like it. It's bright. It's cheerful. It's the color of our swell uniforms. That's it. That's what's wrong with this place. I have to look at you. Build me an inner sanctum. Use lots of gold. Your okay 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 so we have work to do we're gonna need a vault is what we're gonna need and we're gonna need an inner sanctum but on top of that we have a bunch of things to look into before we even start playing so 
we have our main objective which is to build an inner sanctum we have side stories as well which is going to get us valets is going to get us muscle minions is going to get us scientists and is going to get us technicians as well i am tempted to see what happens if we go straight for valets because that lets us start putting some things in the casino and i feel like that's going to be a way to potentially make a little bit of money so i might go straight into this another group of agents can't a genius with a dubious criminal past purchase an exotic lair in peace anymore it's probably all the helicopters they'll be wondering what we're doing out here that's why I chose this location. It has the perfect cover operation, even if it is abandoned. I think the problem is that it's abandoned, boss. Not many people visit an abandoned... anything. For once, you make a good point. Very well. Hire some staff. Dress them well. Teach them to cheat at roulette. Okay. We will kidnap a valet on the world stage shortly. Uh, what we are going to need to do is like i said get ourselves a vault so let's go ahead and build down here a little bit and i'm gonna try and do a vault right here which i know is a bit of a weird space for it but i don't think the vault needs to be too huge and i really don't want to put it right by the uh the entrance to everything so we'll extend it a little bit here We'll go to items and we'll do this as well. And we'll throw a door just on there. So that's going to be our vault, essentially. Like I said, not too huge, but it's enough space to store some money. And that's kind of what we're going for. So we'll confirm that and we'll get that going. But we're also going to need power. So let's come in. Let's go to power station and let's just start building a room here for all of that. And truth be told, I'm going to try and just make it this large right off the bat so that we can go ahead and throw in an incinerator right there and i actually want to try and just put the generators in like this and we'll do two of them right off the bat and we'll leave a little bit of room there we could actually do a third one i don't think we're going to need to do a third one though but what i will do is we'll cancel this chunk of room for now and i think we'll actually cancel this chunk of room as well so that way we're going to save a bit of money on construction we will get our power and we can expand that at some point as well so in terms of items we'll just throw a door uh right on there and confirm that as well and in terms of other things that we will need we are going to need to get ourselves a barracks at some point so the minions have somewhere to rest we're going to need a mess hole as well we're going to need to go for a control room so that we can actually go out into the world and start doing things. So, I guess this space down here is largely probably going to be for power generation. So, let's come over here and actually look at getting ourselves a control room a bit soon. Well, actually, no. Let's just confirm and run the, uh, run the game a little bit. So that we can get power and so that we can get the vault because the vault is where the all of our money is going to be stored so we'll get all of this constructed we'll get all of this constructed and because max obviously has the additional uh minions it should go a little bit quicker as well which is fantastic news yeah this is going quite nicely down here this is going very nicely in here and that is fantastic news uh, I'm curious to see how much the vault's actually going to be able to hold, if I'm completely honest. At least the door is going in. At least those bits are going away as well. Uh, and there we go. No power. That's fine. We have two generators about to be installed, like so. And then down here, we're about to see just how much the vault can actually hold on to. So currently... We have a capacity for 440, 460, so it's going to be 480, or is that 48? No, sorry, 48,000 uh, gold. Okay. That's fine by me. 48,000 gold is all right. We have enough power for the time being as well. So let's pause things again, and let's go ahead and try and get ourselves a control room so that we can go ahead and uh, maybe get ourselves... A little bit of uh, work going on the world stage uh, so what I think we do is I want to put this here 
and I want to put this here. And I do want two of them, and I want to be able to expand this room at some point, but right now, I don't think we need to worry about that. So right now, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And that'll kind of work out for us. It doesn't need to be too massive right now. Uh, but that that will work out, I guess. Uh, it is a bit weird that they kind of walk around there. That's probably not an optimal layout or anything like that, but I'm not, I'm not really going to stress too much about it. Um, well, maybe. I could do this, and I could do this. And it's essentially, you know, the same layout, but I think that's a little bit better. And we'll do, I don't know, a lamp in the corner with a couple of, uh, couple of chairs in the wall there. And an iris mainframe, I suppose, can go up here as well for a bit of decoration. And we'll confirm that. Now, what that's going to do is let us go to the world stage and actually start looking at, uh, you know, scouting out some territories, which we might have as a optional objective right now. So finish scouting Western Anvil provinces and finish scouting Central Smash Republic. We can do both of those for $3,000, which is fantastic. And we also need to build ourselves a training room at some point as well. So we can absolutely do that. We'll get this built first, though. And uh, once that's built, we can start sending people out to start doing some things for us, which will be absolutely lovely. Uh, I think, what are you doing? You're probably heading out to, yeah, you're constructing, you're going out there. So you're probably going to get me a door, is what I imagine you're going to do. So we'll get that done as well. We'll get this whole place up and running. And there we go. We actually have another objective as well to earn 20,000 gold from schemes. We can absolutely do that. That will be no problem at all. Let's just get these mainframes in here and then we are good to go. So there's one and there is the other. All right. So we'll slow the game down and we'll take a little bit of a look at the world stage. You're so running we're running low on power. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Uh, so Western Anvil Central Smash. That was not the button I was looking for. Uh, so Central Smash is here, so we'll go and we'll scout that, and Anvil is what? Anvil is over here, and it was Western Anvil, which was this one. At least I think it was Western Anvil, it better have been. Central Smash, Western Anvil, yep. Okay, I keep hitting Escape to get out of that menu. Uh, Western is there, so we'll scout that as well. That'll be good, and I think to... Yeah, I cannot run schemes without a criminal network, so we can't actually go and get those valleys. Um, and I'm noticing there don't seem to be any valleys over here either, so we might actually need to get another one of those mainframes and go to either Western Saber, Western Hammer, or Central Anvil to get ourselves a valley, but we'll see. Regardless, we have some minions heading out to do their thing. And we'll not worry too much about it right now. Uh, because obviously it kind of needs some money. Uh, which we can go ahead and get if we go into build mode. We can sell pretty much all of this useless stuff in the casino. Because it's all broken and it doesn't actually... Can I just hit enter on all of these? I can. Beautiful. Uh, it's all broken. It doesn't get repaired. It's not something we're going to do anything with. So, uh, yeah, essentially... All of these, these boxes can go away. It's $17,000 right there. That's now $18,500 right there. We could get rid of these chairs, but they're actually working and whatnot. So that's fine. And uh, that's fine. So $18,500 when all is said and done. And uh, we also have these networks up and running too. We're going to get that one shortly. But over this way, we have some work to do. So, what is this? $50,000 is what we could get from this. We'll, it'll take six workers and 35 minutes. It'll give 40 heat to the region, so that means that the region will be, you know, a fair bit more suspicious of me. Versus $10,000 in three minutes for three workers. Let's do that for now. Dispatch minions to begin the scheme. Minions will not return. That's fine. So, no worries on that front. And then we're about to take this as well. Which is going to be two, um, that'll be two of the side objectives done, or the optionals done. So we'll collect those rewards, which is beautiful. And then if we go have a look here, what is this? 10,000 three minutes? Let's do it. 
So if we successfully do those two schemes, that's going to complete the earn 20,000 gold from schemes objective, meaning more money. So no complaints from me. But we do have what looks like in the top right here, some uh, investigators arriving shortly. So that is going to be something to worry about a little bit. Let's go ahead and just move well. Max into the power room there. And actually thinking about it, let's go ahead and expand power generation a little bit. So we'll just expand it to there. We could expand it a fair bit further, though, thinking about it. And that might not be the worst thing to do, truth be told. Because essentially, I mean, it's what? 14,000 minus a little bit that we can save by not building that. So 14,000. Ooh. Oh, we do need that bit. Okay. So 14,000. That's fine, though. It's going to massively increase our power generation, meaning we're not going to need to worry about expanding it later on. But my minions are going to be complaining shortly about a few things. And I do want to try and avoid them complaining too much about, you know, food and rest and all that stuff. So let's see if we can't do something about that. Let's do a mess. Well, you know what? I don't want to do a mess hole up here because we're going to need to expand that room. Let's do... Hmm... Let's do a corridor that comes down here. And let's do a couple of rooms. So I want a mess hall to be here. And I kind of want it to be a decent bit, you know, a decent, decent little size. Uh, so I'm thinking something like this might be a good shout. Maybe just a 10 by 10 there. It is a pretty big room, but I think that kind of works out. We could, if we really wanted to, bring it up like this as well. It's currently 4,180 to do this, but that really might not be the worst thing in the world. Um, so that, I mean, the question then becomes, why don't I just not do this weird shape with it? The reason I was going to do this was because I was going to try and sneak a couple of extra rooms in here, but I don't think I'm going to have the room to do that. Well, maybe I will. Hold on a minute. Let's try and sneak a little barracks just in here. It's not going to be luxurious, but just a teeny tiny little barracks here with just, you know, a couple of beds. So one, two, three, maybe four beds and some lockers. Power and that's not bad because what I can then go ahead and do is bring a corridor down here. And that seems fine by me. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of okay with this. In terms of the mess hall, the door's already on there. The basic food counters, I mean, we can just sort of position them whatever way we want, really. So one, leave a gap, two, leave a gap, three. Rotate them and do one, two, three. So 26,000 to build all of this. We can't afford it, so sure. We'll do that. We'll absolutely do that. Uh, in terms of optionals, we have nothing right now. Uh, and in terms of investigators, I don't actually know that they're here. There are people here, though, which is nice. Uh, but I don't actually think the... I mean, the investigators are most likely here. I'm just not sure where. You can tell that they're investigators because they'll be walking around like they're investigators. But I'm not seeing any right now. I also don't know where people get to this island from. A scheme has oh, they use a... Oh, that's kind of neat. They use like a, a, a ski lift type thing. And then they get in via boat. All right. That's kind of neat. I like that. All right. Well, a, uh, a scheme just succeeded. We're up to 33,000. So I do actually want to go ahead and I do want to expand this room because we actually do need to do that. So, let's expand this way. And let me see if I can't throw one of these guys in there. No. Okay. We're going to need to expand a little bit further. And then throw it there. No. We're going to need to expand a little bit further. And throw it there. So, that'll be fine by me. I do think we can expand the room upwards as well. Which might not be a terrible idea. So, we'll expand to, to, to there. We can throw another one of these guys here. We could throw one here and have people walk around, but that seems a little bit excessive. Um, we could throw it up there. 
which doesn't seem like a bad idea. Kind of expensive, but I do think having room for more uh, exploration and whatnot and more scouting is probably for the best. Uh, now, we can't do a chair there, unfortunately, but I can do a chair there, and we can do one here as well. So, I figure we do that. We do have more space to build out into, though. Which honestly has me very tempted to say that instead of all this kind of faffing about, we just do this. Because right now we we do need to get into research, you know, as quickly as possible. Um, but essentially that is as far out as we can build this room right now. And that doesn't seem like a terrible idea to, uh, to kind of build it, you know, as much as we can for the time being. And then we can expand it later on. So that might be something worth doing. Um, now you are a little bit isolated in that corner, so let's go ahead and put you in that corner. And apparently that corner is just having trouble right now. Uh, what if I move you to there? That's better. Then these chairs, I guess, could go down into that corner there. And that actually does give us room to put, you know, another mainframe. Well, actually, we can just do two in the middle. Which is very tempting to do. Because then we have got the space to kind of go up and around. So how much would that cost? 16,000. Okay. So quite expensive, but that seems like a decent layout. So we'll confirm it, and we're just going to have to go out and say, do more things, basically. Uh, so for example, 20,000, 30 minutes. Ooh, I don't know that that's worth it. 10,000, 3 minutes. Absolutely. And then we'll do the same over here as well. We should have another 10,000 in 3 minutes kind of deal. 50,000 and 35 minutes. 35 minutes, if I speed that up, I think the game runs at two times speed. So that will be what? Uh, 17 and a half minutes for 50,000? Is that worth it? I guess sort of. For the workers, it's it's the trade-off is it only takes two times the workers as 10,000. It just takes a lot longer. Um, Let's launch that one for now. Just for the time being, let's launch that, and uh, we'll not worry too much about it. Because the thing is, it will get us some decent money. Um, it will also get us the earn 20,000 from schemes thing. And then this right here will let us expand our coverage on the world stage, meaning that we can go ahead and actually start getting the valets as well. So if we go, have, go ahead and look at the optionals, we get 3,000 from you, we get 5,000 from you, and we have all this stuff getting installed as well. So, that should work out very well for us because now we need to get a valet. So, let's head up here and let's scout out the central Anvil provinces. So, we'll scout that. We'll get some valets and we'll go into, you know, that particular line of working. Now, we do have another side objective, though which is training room tiles. And we are actually going to need a training room for the valets. So I think it might not be a terrible idea to dive into that a little bit. And I'm tempted to put it over here, to be honest, but I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm kind of liking building over in this direction right now. But a little training room just here, I mean, well, I guess it wouldn't hurt. Um, although, I don't think we need, a, need it until we actually get a valet, so I guess we'll hold off. Uh, a laboratory would be good as well. Which, by the way, I've had a bunch of people recently pointing out that I pr I pronounce laboratory like very weird. Uh, it, which I don't think it's weird. I think it's just a very distinct way of pronouncing it. I know a couple of people have pronounced it that way. Um, I I, I want to point out why because I I realized recently where that pronunciation comes from because it is a little over the top, right? Um. That's from Dexter's Lab on Cartoon Network when I was a kid. Because the one of the, like, the, the, the go-to line from Dexter to his sister was always, Dee Dee, stay out of my laboratory. And it was always pronounced that way. That's legitimately where that comes from. And I, it only hit me recently that that's kind of what that was. So, in case you were ever curious about why my accent is as weird as it is, that is just another reason amongst many. Uh, now, let's get ourselves a prison. Because I think a prison is probably a pretty good idea. Uh, now, in terms of items, we are going to want some cells. And I do want to divide them like so. Um, and I do want to put this 
chair in here. I don't really know where I want to put it. But, uh... Well, actually, could we move these guys to be here and here? I'm going to use the space a little bit less efficiently. And then just put the chair right in the middle. So the chair is, like, going to be looking right at the cells. Which is kind of dark, and I kind of like that. Um, but then what I can do is I can go in and do, like, this. So you don't actually see what's going on from the, uh from the doors there. I like that. That's just going to be a little, little tiny prison is all it is. Just a little teeny tiny prison. And in terms of decor, we'll go ahead and put maybe a mainframe in the corner and maybe a chair. I don't know. We'll just, no, we'll just confirm it. Um, that was quite expensive, but I think that'll be useful for when we do start to, um, you know, see more things going on. Uh, we also have all these mainframes here, too, so we can actually go to the world stage and start doing more things. Uh, such as, let's go ahead, five workers, 30 seconds, 2,000 gold to kidnap a valet. Let's do it. And uh, I don't know how many more provinces we can get right now. Broadcast strength generated is six. Available is three. Uh, Intel available is 5. Capacity is 99. Okay. I guess... So we have 3 available. Let's go ahead and grab the remaining Anvil provinces. So Scout and Scout and Scout. I wasn't really planning on taking all the Anvil provinces, but we'll do it for the time being. And uh, once we have that valet, we can go ahead and we can essentially build that training room that we've been talking about as well. But I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. I think we'll go ahead and put a cut in there and consider that a part one of our Evil Genius 2 World Domination Maximilian playthrough. I think it's a decent little start, but I'll tell you what we are going to do, given that this is episode one of the series. I'll tell you one thing and request another. I'll tell you thing number one is that there will be another episode of this series coming up on the channel shortly after this one has gone out, most likely on the same day. So stay tuned for that. And if you are new around here, do consider subscribing for it as well if you happen to uh, enjoy the video. And with it being part one of a series, if you enjoyed it, this would be the request. Do leave a like on the video. If you disliked it, then leave a dislike and tell me why down in the comments as well. Either way, thanks for watching, everybody. It's been my absolute pleasure, as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye